Hey everyone, I'm Tom from Case Knives. I'm here with Roland Rockhouse Welker and Laramie Sasquatch Miller. We're gonna talk about some of the new Signature Series knives we just came out with for, uh, for Case. Um, we had these knives designed by professionals um, to perform in the outdoors, um, no matter the elements. So I'm gonna start with Roland. I'm gonna ask you some questions about you know, why you designed this knife. You bet. So let's talk about the handle. Um, why did you choose the micarta handle for, for these line of knives? Yeah, the micarta handle is real important on a survival knife. I was glad to have it available to me. The, the shatter resistance at, at 50 below, I'll use these things at 50 below. I mean, we're talking minus 50 below zero. Mm -hmm. And that micarta won't, won't crack, it won't shatter. Real right. all around good, yes. and good yeah. material. Survival mm -hmm. handle material. Yeah. And Laramie, I noticed the difference between yours and, and Roland. I mean, they're, they're, it's a nice variety of knives. It but is. For yours, you chose a casual finish on your blade. Is there a reason that you choose, chose that? or? You know, the biggest thing is the look. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the darker, it does look cool. it hardened, does look really cool. but it makes the steel a little harder. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to make it a little tougher to sharpen in the field. Mm -hmm. But the 1095 is soft enough that you can put a good edge on it quick mm -hmm. you know so that that caswell finish it's got that darker look but it's still going to be easy to sharpen yeah and not, not only did you design this for for your own personal survival skills but to to resonate with the normal consumer that you know might not use it every day that caswell finish is good for corrosion Right. I oh, mean, great. It's going to help that 1095 not corrode, not get the rust. It's going to preserve well, let, it for longer. Let's face it. Most of us, you know, we're going to throw a knife in our backpack or we're going to do whatever and it's going to sit yep. in the rain and it's going to get wet. And, mm -hmm. you know, that Caswell finish is not going to rust. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like a normal knife, a stainless steel knife is going to be, I mean, the thing's going to be orange mm -hmm. yeah. by the next hunting season. Yeah. But not yeah. with the Caswell. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And, and Roland, the one thing I like about yours is this, this RW100 is that you know it's the tanto blade is a, is a very popular blade but you modified yours a little bit you know it's not the the general sharp angle for the for the tanto just touch on why why you did that just what was your reasoning for for that I, the, the 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 tanto is one of my favorite designs but i i did modify it i took the sharp sharp point off that that way you know, you, you could blend the point in for, mm -hmm. for the novice sharpener or, mm -hmm. or even not the, maybe that ain't even the right word for the emergency sharp, the field sharpens quicker. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it, it'll still flow a little bit, but you still have the, the tanto, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good piercing point. Yep. yep. Well, the really cool thing about that, you know, me being a survivalist myself, I look at your knife and, you know, I get a little jealous and I look at that thing and I'm like, <laughs> man. You know, the thought process going into that. Yeah, I, I, I've been fooling with that for a long time. It's an all-around knife. You yeah. know, when you have a straight Tonto, it's hard to do any kind of skinning or any kind of, you know, that, that knife right there, you can take and do anything you want in the field. I want And that's what's cool about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just really stoked that Case mm -hmm. left me put the modified Tonto. Oh, on yeah. I mean, eyes. all of the design that went into this was from the experience that these two guys have in, you know, the the 30 years of guiding in Alaska and, you know, the mountain man blood growing up with all of the family history of living off the land and the mountains. It all went into this. All that that thought went into these knives. Um, one last question. Both of you guys have full tangs on all these knives. They're mm -hmm. all full tangs. Is there, what, Lammy, what's the reasoning behind that thought? Well, especially in a survival situation, I mean, you look at both of my survival knife and Roland's survival knife, you're using that thing for everything, whether it's hammering. You don't have a hammer. You don't have mm -hmm. all the other tools out there. So that's got to be your all-around tool. Mm -hmm. So the extra tang allows you to use it as a hammer. Mm -hmm. You know, you can break ice. You can do whatever you need with a blunt object mm -hmm. with the butt of that knife. Mm -hmm. And that's the extended tang part. Yep. And then you also have the lanyard hole, makes it easier to hold mm -hmm. if you don't have, you know, if you don't have a sheath or you mm -hmm. have to use your sheath for something else in a survival situation, you still have that lanyard hole mm -hmm. to so carry you don't your lose knife. your equipment. Exactly. Yep. And the full tang 
That's a one-piece knife. A two-piece knife can fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A one-piece yep. knife. When you're out in the, when you're out surviving, the last thing you need to fail is your knife. Yeah. And these these are made to not one fail. One piece. That that's a continuous piece of metal mm -hmm. that is not gonna give out. Yep. Yep. Well, and what people need to realize is, you know, people look at knives as trinkets and like cool to have, and yeah, we all need it. But for me and Roland, this is our tools. This that's is what your, we that's use your to survive. Mm -hmm. Like. You know, yep. some pe some people have a tool bag. We have knives. Yep, yep. And the the 1095 is there is there a re but all these knives are 1095, which is a great steel. Is is there a reason that it, you guys gravitated towards that 1095? Sharp and ability. Yep, 100. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you love a, a harder steel in the field for different purposes, but you also have to be able to sharpen that thing. Mm -hmm. If it's too hard, yep. if, if you can't sharpen in the field. It's it's not it's survival worthless. quality. It mm -hmm. has to it has to have some tenacity. Mm -hmm. It has to hold its edge. The 1095. But you've got to bring it, it back edge. too. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And that t and the 1095 is yep. that that was case. Mm -hmm. Case said we're using 1095. And, well, and, and, and the awesome thing is you can take a river rock and mm -hmm. you can sharpen yes. any one of those knives. Yep. You, can, you can wet them up on a field stone. Yep. 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 Well, I mean, I think that explains it, everybody. Um, the, the thought process that went into this, the experience that went into this with case engineering and, and these two guys' minds. Um, you can get these knives at caseknives.com or your local dealer and uh, keep your hands sharp.